एट द हाइट ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट वो बी इक्वल टू हेच वो दिस इज हाइट ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट आई जी इज हाइट ऑफ द इमेज इमेज हाइट इज आई जी एंड पी आई इज इमेज डिस्टेंस दैट इज कॉल्ड इमेज डिस्टेंस पी सी इज रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर पी एफ इज फोकल लेंथ सो वी ड्रॉप ए नॉर्मल ऑन टू द प्रिंसिपल एक्सेस ए एन कंसिडर टू ट्रैंगल्स वन इज ओ बी ओ ओ बी पी ट्रैंगल ओ बी पी एंड ट्रैंगल आई आई जी पी जी आई पी जी आई पी ट्रैंगल ओ बी पी ट्रैंगल जी आई पी ट्रैंगल दीज टू ट्रैंगल्स आर सिमिलर देर फॉर वॉट वी कैन राइट आई जी बाई ओ बी आई जी बाय ओ बी इज दिस डिस्टेंस बाय दिस डिस्टेंस दैट इज पी आई बाय पी ओ आई जी इज हाइट ऑफ द इमेज आई ओ बी इज हाइट ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इज इक्वल टू पी आई इज इमेज डिस्टेंस पी ओ इज ऑब्जेक्ट डिस्टेंस दिस हाइट ऑफ द इमेज बाय हाइट ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इन दिस केस इज फाउंड टू बी इमेज डिस्टेंस बाय ऑब्जेक्ट डिस्टेंस this ratio of the height of the image by height of the object is called magnification therefore magnification produced by a concave mirror is equal to image distance by object distance by knowing the image and object distances by ratio of those we can get magnification so this is magnification determination and how to determine the uv relation one method we have done earlier or the other method using triangle property we can do we have two triangles first to consider this is for magnification next we consider the case of two triangles triangle obc triangle obc and cig triangle cig obc triangle cig triangle these two are similar triangles therefore आई जी बाय ओ बी इज इक्वल टू सी आई बाय सी ओ सी आई बाय सी ओ कॉल इट एज इक्वेशन नंबर वन नेक्स्ट वी कंसिडर अनदर टू ट्रैंगल्स ए एन एफ आई जी एफ ट्रैंगल ए एन एफ एंड ट्रैंगल आई जी एफ इन दिस केस आई जी बाय ए एन is equal to ig by an is equal to if by nf if by nf this is equation number 2 now ob is equal to an because an and ob they are the opposite side of rectangle ob an rectangle therefore ob is equal to an since ob is equal to an left side of these two equations are same therefore right side of these two equations can be equated so that implies ci by co is equal to if by nf ci by co is equal to if by nf what is ci ci is since distance are measured from pole of the mirror but a for a close to p approximation now we are going to make for a close to p an is same as p ap an is same as ap and ni is same as pi therefore we can write ci by co approximate as if is as it is if only by nf we can write as equal to pf approximation so this is what we get the equation now since the distance are to be measured always from the pole of the mirror all these distances we should measure from p so therefore ci ci distance we can write as pc minus pi therefore this implies from here we write pci is pc minus pi pc ci is 
C i is P C minus P i divided by C o. C o is this distance. That is P o minus P C. C o is P o minus P C. Similarly, I f. I f is P i minus P f. Approximately. Pi minus Pf is If divided by Pf. Now, all these distances are now measured from pole. Those values are given. Pc is R that is equal to 2f, and Pi is V, Po is U. Already we have written, and Pf is F. Substitute here. That is Pc is 2f. Minus v divided by p o is u minus 2 f is equal to p i is v minus f by f. That is the equation we will be getting. Now we cross multiply and first we cross multiply this and divide the equation throughout by u v f. By this way we will be getting as 1 by u plus 1 by v. Is equal to one by f. So here we are going to use a sign convention. Main problem in understanding the image object distance for mirrors or lenses problem is confusion arising due to various authors following various sign conventions. Therefore, to avoid that confusion. first thing is before we go for a analysis go for an analysis first we have to concentrate on particular sign convention one sign convention we have to follow and understand the subject thoroughly with that sign convention and later on we can any use any sign convention and, and uh, analyze it so therefore first of all common sign convention so that you will be able to understand without confusion Is the convention which I am following here? Some books follow this convention. Different books may follow different convention, but first follow one. Okay. Uh, now we use a particular uh, a, a some sign convention we follow. First, understand the subject with that convention. After understanding, we can easily follow any sign convention. But not simultaneously all sign convention at a time in the beginning stage it leaves you lot of confused confusion. So therefore we now consider a convention which I am going to follow throughout for both lenses and mirrors. First sign convention is about the radius of curvature and focal length. What sign I use for radius of curvature and focal length? I use positive sign for Concave mirrors. Whenever I am using concave mirror, I will use focal length as radius of curvature as positive. Focal length of the concave mirror as taken as positive. Radius of curvature also is taken as positive. R and F. R also when I am using convex lenses. When I'm whenever I am using convex lenses or convex refracting boundaries. radius of curvature and focal lengths are considered as positive this is sign convention i am going to follow negative for convex mirrors and or concave lens when i use concave lens or convex mirrors i use r value f value negative i use negative value for them this is about the sign convention for radius of curvature and focal length next one is object distance object distance positive for real object object distance is positive for real objects negative for virtual objects what are virtual what are real objects in the discussion of mirrors plane mirrors we have come across what is meant by real object what is meant by virtual object depending upon the 
object rays which are intercepted by the mirror or lens. If they happen to be diverging rays or um, uh, intercepted by the mirror or lens, they are real object distance, object is real. Next one is image distance. Image distance positive for a real image, positive for real image distances, real images distance, negative for virtual image. So, these are the sign convention we are going to use throughout our course. It is preferred because it is simple to use, easy to remember. Another aspect is these R, R and F always they follow this irrespective of the direction of light rays or nature of the object or image here. Similarly, U and V they are signs exclusively for the real or virtual objects, nothing to do with whether it is lens or mirror, convex or concave, whether the rays are coming from left to right or right to left, all these things we need not worry. Therefore, this is simple to apply, easy to remember and easy to understand. So, with this kind of sign convention, we will verify the equation here. As per the sign convention, we got this equation. Here, we got U positive. U is positive here because it is real object. Real object because object rays as incident on the mirror are divergent. Therefore, it is real object. This is real image distance. Real image because image rays are convergent. All the image rays are meeting at point G that is convergent rays therefore, real image and the focal length is positive because it is concave mirror, concave mirror focal length. Therefore, all three are positive. Yedi Ivalti Physics Class. In this episode, Geometrical Optics Chapter Nunchi, Concave Mirror Gurunchi Tilskunakada. Repeti episode low, Geometrical Optics Topic Kusamaninchi, Marini Amsaran Tilskunda. Till then, keep watching KB Television.